Let me share with you this funny little clip. This is from the White House press briefing. The last one, Chen Pasaki Hill. Now, there's this African journalist who they sat right at the back. You know, back of the bus. And they haven't really allowed him to ask her any question. So this is the last day. And our brother justifiably gets a little mad. And he's just saying to her, please, allow me to ask you a question. And let me just show you how they disrespected him. Serious uh, issues, go ahead. Um, so just show up this. Thank you. Um, you, you, you talk, why don't right you take questions from across the room? Right east, uh, the Jen, I have, have a suggestion to them for your last briefing. Mm. Why don't you take questions from across, of the, across the room? He suggested the administration be aware because of the formula shortage for some months now. Because that's what you've not been able to do for the past 15 months. Is there a reason why the administration waited until this week once the issue is in the public? On the issue of the formula shortage. Jen, can I ask you a question from the back? Please stop. I understand, but you know, no, for 15 months, you have no formula. And I'm saying that for the sake of equity, we should have pressure on the table. First of all, thank you for your service, and thank your husband for your service as well. On the issue of formula, I think, if anything, this crisis has reminded everyone. Simon, if you could respect your colleagues and other media and reporters in here, that would be greatly appreciated. Go ahead, Mary. If anything, this has reminded, I think, the entire country and the world that this is not a luxury item, but an essential. Thank you. Not to Formula is not a luxury item, it is an essential. It is something that families across the country rely on. Is this such a valuable... First of all, this man has been nothing else but patient. 15 months he sat there at the back of the bus, patiently waiting. And today, he decided to funnel that Rosa Park energy. And he was like, listen, enough. Either allow me to sit in the front, or at least allow me to ask a question. And he gets told, no, respect the people in the front because they are your colleagues. But that means that they are just more important than you. Listen to their questions because their questions are more valid. And if you wonder why they're allowed to ask questions, we well, heard it there. That lady who calls herself a journalist, she was saying, thank you for your service to a government official. Is that how journalism works in America? Journalists are supposed to be confrontational to the government, but that's not what they do in the Western media, unless it's Donald Trump, of course, but the rest of the politicians are allowed to do whatever they want. And then they come to Africa and they disrespect our leaders. Have you ever seen interviews of Western media where they interview African leaders? 100 times out of 100, they are disrespectful. And they say that's what journalism is, being confrontational to the government holding power accountable. They actually think they're holding power accountable by thanking the power itself. But that's why I always say that African leaders should never go to Western news media because they will be disrespectful. It's not like they give interviews to our media either. So there's no point to go into their media and giving them space. Always promote your own media because that's what they are doing. Look at this. They are promoting CNN. Fox, whatever, they will never promote African media. They will never promote Latin American media. They will never allow them to ask anything. And by the way, this brother most likely will be fired because they're saying that they're going to take his credentials away. So that's the end. He just wanted to ask a question and now they take his credits away. Anyways, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please do remember to subscribe, like, share, and comment.